Yeah. Get a coffee. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hey, We haven't color corrected this at all. This is the actual color of that lake. It's absolutely insane. It is so blue. We're just going to walk across this bridge up there on top of those peaks. It's like over 2,200 meters high. Headed home, kind of. Uh, we're heading back to Canada for about two, three weeks. Actually, it's probably three weeks just to go and visit some family. We're gonna go see our nephew and my sister and brother and Mandy's family. Uh, before Mandy gets too pregnant and can't travel anymore. And, um, you know, we've spent the last couple years on our own and recently decided we want to try and prioritize catching up with family more so uh, I think once or twice a year definitely we're trying to do twice a year now but before we fly off we actually booked the first class lounge here at Bangkok at airport uh, the coral lounge so we're gonna give that a bit of a look around this is the first time we've ever been into a lounge we don't do lounges we usually do everything on the super cheap but wanted to try and make it comfortable and enjoyable for Mandy as possible so we're going to try and check it out. Just trying to figure out where this bloody lounge is. I think we're in the right spot. How are you feeling honey? I'm okay, I've been sleepy. I could go with a massage for sure and I'm hungry already again. <laughs> yeah so the lounge includes unlimited drinks which we probably won't use but also unlimited food and you can get a neck and shoulder massage while you're waiting for your flight. Okay, I think we found it. We got the Coral Lounge. They were doing a sale. It was like 50% off for the first class lounge. So I figured we might as well take advantage. We took a weird vibe when we walked in. To be honest, there's like a, I think two monks in here, and they all looked a bit panicked that we were here as well. And like we showed them our ticket and that we paid and everything, and they like sat us in the corner next to the window, and then asked where the bathroom was, and they said we couldn't use the bathroom. And I was like, what? This is a first class lounge, and you can't use the bathroom. There's supposed to be showers and everything as well. Um, Strange. Just strange. So Mandy went up and kind of complained a little bit and they put us in this nice little area and one of the ladies said we can use the bathroom. So I don't know what happened there. Maybe miscommunications as usual. <laughs> it's all good, we made it. No alcohol. Okay. Is it a strawberry? Is it a orange and chai? If you would like to try it, okay. is it better? This is for the queue for the masters. You can put the queue on your table. Okay. When to the arrival your queue, the therapist will call you. Okay. Do you would like to the this um, shoulder for masters or, yes. or yeah. the foot masters? I had shoulder. Yes, and shoulder. Yeah. Um, and foot for me. Foot okay. Yeah. Did you understand what the numbers were for? No. I thought you would ask. Oh my God, Lloyd's got it. I did ask. Oh. Did you hear his answer? Oh, I thought you asked something else. We don't even have cutlery yet. <laughs> it feels like they weren't expecting us or something. Like we've just um, showed up unexpectedly at someone's house, kind of feels like. Mm, that drink is delicious though. What is it? I don't know. I think you told me. Sure. What did you say this was? Caramel? Mm. This looks like a... He said caramel. Caramel mojito. 
looks like an espresso martini. That's, that's exactly what it oh, is. Oh, okay, that's what it is. <laughs> and we just need to ask for cover. <laughs> Maybe it's us. Maybe we're not used to this sort of thing. <laughs> no. I think if they put a salad in front of you, there's supposed to be a fork there first, I think. <laughs> and you never got that tea. No. All the waters. They brought out three drinks. That we didn't order. That we didn't order. We just said, I mean, they're free. You know, they were really nice. I'm not complaining about that. Thank you. <laughs> it just keeps coming out now. <laughs> There's so much fucking food here. And drinks. They've now added a fourth table to our island. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, this is pretty good value for money, I'd say, with the amount of food and alcohol and everything you can get here. Yeah, definitely. Like, pregnant me is very happy. I can imagine if we were, like, if I was drinking. I <laughs> See, I'm, I, I don't even really want to drink. I, I hate drinking before flying now because, um, yeah, I just feel like you get so dehydrated as it is, and then halfway through the flight you start getting a hangover. So I try to avoid any booze before getting on a flight, but I drink a couple of sips. <laughs> okay, we got off to a little bit of a rocky start. I think they just had like a couple of special guests here, and they were a bit flustered when we got in. And usually it's like people with um, priority pass that come in, and we just bought our tickets online yesterday. Um, but the food is absolutely amazing and there's so much food. They brought out so much food for us and just brought out a bunch of different drinks for us to try, like just recommended drinks. Um, and Mandy has now gone to get a foot massage and then I'm gonna go get a neck and shoulder massage which is gonna be perfect before we fly. Uh, I think I just saw on the board that our flight is delayed, so hopefully it's not gonna set us back too much because we only have a two hour layover in Ho Chi Minh and then we're flying to San Francisco so hopefully we make it in time. Day two, we made it to San Francisco, where we actually had a really stressful and long travel day. Um, so we flew to Ho Chi Minh City, and something that's never happened before, there was a woman at the arrival gate with Mandy's name on it. She, we obviously identified ourselves to her, and she said, in very broken English, because she was Vietnamese, um, you have to check your bags again. And we're like, what do you mean? Like, we have two hours until our flight leaves. Like, we can't like go and get our bags and check them in again, which is what we thought she meant. She told us to go to the international transfer gate. And then when we got there, there was a guy in like military uniform and he pulled Mandy over and went through all of her um, carry-on bags. And then asked for the security pin number for her checked luggage showed us a photo of her bag and then made us wait around for a while and then just told us to leave um, that's never happened before I don't know if that was just like a random security check or if they saw something in Mandy's bag anyway our flight was delayed by like an hour and a half landed in San Fran late last night slept for a few hours and now it's like 7 30 a.m. and we're flying to Vancouver so Fair to say we're um we're pretty tired, especially Mandy. She's been a trooper though. Um, it is, yeah. 
Maybe we're just gonna go and find something to eat and then right, get a coffee. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hey, welcome to To be completely honest, all the staff here at the San Francisco airport have been unreal. The guy who checked us in was so like lively and just awesome. They bring a lot of energy. Americans are so fun. Like they're just like the main character, and I love their energy so much. <laughs> Anyway, so I don't know what we're going to vlog when we get to Canada, we'll see. But um, we're going to go grab something to eat now and then jump on our flight. Okay guys, so if you're planning a trip to Canada or North America or really anywhere for that matter, and you want to stay connected on the internet while you're traveling, then you're going to want to check out Olafly eSIMs who just so happen to be the sponsor of today's video. Olafly eSIM provides international eSIM cards to over 190 destinations all over the world. So you can travel and stay connected without having to worry about expensive roaming fees. We've actually been using Olafly eSIMs for over two years now, actually. We've been using them in countries like Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, uh, Mexico, the USA, and of course, here in Canada. Speaking from my personal experience, there is nothing more frustrating to me than landing in a new country and having no connection. When we landed in San Francisco on our way to Canada, I had already activated our North American 30-day eSIM, which meant that I was able to connect to the internet as soon as we got off the plane. Uh, I was able to get us a taxi and find our hotel. Once we got to the hotel, I was unable to walk around and find us something to eat for dinner, which made everything so much more simple. And the best part was the next day we got on a flight to Canada and I was still connected using the exact same SIM card. And the best part about Olafly eSIMs is that you don't actually have to ditch your old SIM card. So I actually have a SIM card for back in Thailand that I use and I was able to receive text messages while in Canada. So like if I'm logging onto my bank account and making transfers and stuff like that, and they want to send me a verification text message, I can still get it. Or if I get text messages from friends back in Thailand or even back in Australia and they have my phone number, I can still receive them because my SIM card is still activated as well as using the Olafly eSIM. And just in case your travel plans change, which sometimes they do, let's face it, don't worry because they actually allow you to return your eSIM if you don't activate it within six months of your purchase date. We actually set up this particular eSIM while we were in Vietnam waiting for our flight to San Francisco, which was delayed, which it seems to be always the case these days. And it was super simple. You can actually see me setting it up here. It took me about a minute to set it up. And all you have to do is simply scan the QR code, which you'll receive via email and follow the prompts and you're ready to go. You can also use the new Olafly app to set up your eSIM. It's literally never been easier to set up your eSIM. However, a quick service announcement if you are interested in trying Olafly eSIMs for yourself, just make sure you head over to their website to check if your phone is compatible. Most phones these days are compatible with Olafly eSIMs, but if you're running with an older model, just make sure that it is compatible before you make your purchase. So if you want to check out Olafly eSIM for yourself and stay connected while traveling, all you have to do is click the link down below in the description and use code Lloyd and Mandy and you'll receive 5% off your purchase and you'll also be supporting this channel. Thank you very much Olafly for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for helping us out. Okay, we made it to Canada. We've had a couple weeks off because we were um, pretty tired from traveling over here, but also we just wanted to spend some more present time with family and not have to worry about working or filming. I've gotten a little bit sick and more increasingly pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> She's very pregnant. <laughs> um, yes, it's happened very fast, but that's okay. Today we're heading into Whistler from Pemberton. Uh, where we've been staying and um, doing something that we've wanted to do for a very long time. So I'm very excited right now and I'm not missing out on this again, no matter how I feel. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go and do what's called the Summer Alpine Experience in Whistler. So um, believe it or not, like Whistler's a 
12 month a year mountain you can go up there in the winter and in the summer there's like heaps of mountain biking you can do but there's also just sightseeing and there's a peak to peak so there's two mountains here in Whistler there's Whistler and there's Blackcomb they're both about 2,000 meters high and you can go to the top of each of them and do some hiking and stuff and then you can get the peak to peak gondola which is this massive gondola ride that goes from one mountain to the other so we're going to do that today and grab some lunch and just spend the whole afternoon up there sightseeing because as Mandy said like the last two weeks has just been catching up family babysitting I've played a little bit of golf with my brother um, we've actually we're really lucky that we have family that live in this area because there's no way we could afford a holiday in Whistler it is the most expensive place to travel to I think in North America to the top of Blackcomb Mountain and then uh, we're going to get the peak to peak gondola across to Whistler, head up the top of Whistler, come back down, grab a drink or something to eat and then we'll see how we go from there but it's about a hundred bucks per person um, and that's for like unlimited use of all the gondolas all day. Uh, the thing is, if you're here for more than one day, it's only $150 to get a season pass, so you can do this as many times as you want. So, if you want to go up more than once, you might as well buy the season pass, but we just got once. We just got a day pass because, uh, yeah, we're only going to come up here one time. five minutes into this gondola ride and the view is epic um, they said down at the bottom that there's a high chance that we'll see bears on one of the gondolas today which would be awesome <laughs> um, yeah I think there'd be definitely some black bears around um, if we saw a grizzly I would be absolutely stoked but I think they're pretty rare to see here you wouldn't be scared? You used to be so scared of them. No, if we're on a gondola, I'm not scared. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I don't want to run, run into one. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Good's the weather up here. Amazing. Like, Perfect temperature. Believe it or not, it actually gets really hot in Canada. It's been about 33, 34 degrees every day, but up here it's like 10 degrees cooler, so it's like a bit of a good relief because we don't have a pool or air conditioning where we're <laughs> staying, so it's kind of hot. How's this view? It's amazing. With how hot it's been, it's crazy that there's still all this snow on the mountains. All right, we're just gonna jump on the peak to peak gondola now, which is gonna take us from Blackcomb Mountain all the way over to Whistler Mountain, and that's where you get like the most epic views pretty much anywhere.
we're on Whist Whistler, we're on Whistler Mountain and uh, we're just going to walk over to the chairlift that takes you to what's called the top of the world hike, but we won't do the hike, we're just going to walk across this bridge up there on top of those peaks. It's like over 2,200 meters high and there's, there's still heaps of snow there which is surprising. How has it not melted yet? How does that work? I mean, it feels way too warm for there still to be snow. It shows how much there was up here in the winter. Yeah, like, I mean, they get meters and meters of snow, so I guess it just takes so long for it to melt. We're hoping we can get up there, have a look around, and then get back to this bar at the top of Whistler here and have a drink and something to eat before it closes. We should be alright, I think. We haven't color corrected this at all. This is the actual color of that lake. It's absolutely insane. It is so blue. I don't think we wore the right footwear for this. We never do. It's the first time I've ever walked onto a chairlift. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. It's way easier. <laughs> Except I've got thongs on that I feel like you're going to fall off at any second. <laughs> I'm freaking out, I'm going to lose something. Yeah, I know. I feel... It is weird. Yeah. <laughs> They're having so many items on it. Yeah. It's probably still as much snow on the mountain here as there is Right now, back home in Australia on our mountains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you pay over $200 for a day pass to go to that. <laughs> Look at it all. Alright, there's the bridge we're going to walk across. No, it's not like that's my one time. Looks kind of shaky from here. Are you keen? Yeah, we're here. I guess we'll do it. <laughs> Yeah, it did look shaky from down below. Oh, okay. It's bouncy. It's shaky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't like it. Yeah. I'm already not very sturdy at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's worth it for the view. Oh, wow, I really don't like it. Wow, this is so high. New favorite beer? I think so. I don't think I'm gonna go back to drinking after this. This fulfills it. And there's actually so many really good non alcoholic craft beers in Canada as well now. It's been so easy. <laughs> yeah, this one is the Corona Sunbrew, and it says it has vitamin D added. Which sounds kind of crazy for a non alcoholic beer. Like the advertising it almost has a health drink. <laughs> I like it. It's really good if you don't want to drink alcohol but you still want to have something that tastes like beer and gives you that sort of scratches that itch, I guess. Yeah. Almost dumped it. The most Canadian dish ever. Yeah. Uh, so we're just. 
just here at the Umbrella Bar on top of Whistler Mountain, um, having a beer and enjoying this epic view. I think we've got another hour or two till we have to get the gondola down. And uh, I think we should chill out here. Hey? Yeah. Too much hiking for you. <laughs> and we're just going to eat this poutine, the national dish of Canada, hey? Is it good? Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't leave Canada without going to Tim Hortons. <laughs> that was the most epic day. This is the best way to finish it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us to be able to keep making these videos for you guys. And as always, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.